You know, you wait all these months, and then the last five minutes just seems like it takes forever to get the bag open. So, okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh! When I had the vision of the Reptarium for the real start, one of the first animals I really thought about was, of course, a big Asian water monitor like Elvis. That would be just an ambassador, you know, like a little dinosaur, right? I mean, they are so incredible. And again, Kevin McCurley at Nerd and so many other people, I saw these, these images of them, you know, playing with them just like Elvis is doing with me right now. And I thought, this is what I need, right? And so, of course, we got Elvis just before we opened at the Reptarium. And, uh, and he was a little shy. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. He wasn't the outgoing animal that he is now, but over the last few years of working with him, he obviously has turned into this amazing urban dinosaur that is just such a puppy dog. And, and there's something really special about it. When we're open to the public, and literally Elvis is walking around, I mean, kids are going crazy, like, oh my gosh, look at this giant lizard. I mean, look at this thing. He's just like climbing on me. He's like, he's not afraid of me. He's just completely amazing. So he was the first vision, right? He was like, man, I need a giant water monitor that's going to be super docile, and I couldn't be happier with Elvis, right? I mean, he was absolutely wonderful. But then once we got him, I thought, you know, hey, there's a bunch of color mutations that are kind of coming around that are would be cool to add too. Why, if we have one water monitor, why not have more, but let's get different colors. And then there was the black dragons, and of course, we ended up picking up Toothless, literally when he was like seven days old. And these were all the rage back then, and they were pretty rare. They're still relatively rare but they become more common now and I mean Toothless is next level. Elvis is amazing obviously but there is something insane about Toothless. I mean there is not a nervous bone in this guy's body because he's been around people literally since day one he literally doesn't care at all about people. You could do anything to him and he is just absolutely wonderful. He loves to climb around. Where are you going Toothless? Come on baby boy. <laughs> and again he's gonna get the same size as Elvis right? I mean he's gonna get six foot long or something like that and it's gonna be absolutely incredible to have even a tamer animal and amazing right but then there was always that one animal that I wanted I wanted an albino water monitor to round out the kind of group right again not to breed or anything like that but just to get it right and there's several people that are breeding T negatives and T positive albinos in the country but I happen to be following this Instagram account from Indonesia and they actually had a wild caught albino called a snow blind and they raised up produced hats and this year they produced the very first albino snow blinds. So I reached out to him and said, hey, would you be interested in selling one? And guess what? Well, it happened and let's go unbox it. And that's right, in this box right here is that animal I was talking about. Now again, I worked out a deal with my buddy Evan over in Indonesia to get one of these guys, and it's the first ones that they have ever sold, right? And so this is the very first one of this particular strain that's in the US, and a friend of mine over in South Florida actually imported them for me because we don't import anymore. So he imported them to me, and they arrived yesterday and then got shipped here today. So here we go. I am so excited. I've been thinking about this. This has been like four months of working on this. You know, when you're buying animals from Indonesia, it's, uh, it takes a while. And by the way, there's another animal that's coming in from Indonesia that's not quite as spectacular in a way, but still really, really amazing. That's gonna be in the next couple days. That's actually coming in too. So we've got two surprises for you guys. But the first one is this box right here. Oh my gosh. Like I said, four months of dreaming about this animal and it's finally here. Lots of paper, there's lots of paper, there's lots of paper, there's lots of paper, and here is the bag right here. And just by the size of it, it's a little bit bigger than I thought. So let's go ahead and open it up. Oh my gosh, you guys have no clue how excited I am right now. I mean, again, the first ones that have ever been sold of this strain, and they are so beautiful, and also the first ones, obviously, in the country. Uh, I tell you what, what an amazing thing. It's gonna be a great addition. It rounds out my kind of thought process when it comes to the water monitors, and I'm trying to get this. I'm so nervous, I can't even untie the bag. All right, so here we go. Oh, and the bag is, boy, oh boy, this definitely is not getting out. There's no doubt about that. You know, you wait all these months, and then the last five minutes just seems like it takes forever to get the bag open. So, okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh! Look at this thing! Here it is, guys. A snowblind albino water monitor. This is a boy 
and it's pretty big. I thought it was gonna be a little smaller than it is, but it's super docile. It's super socialized, just like Toothless and Elvis is. Look at how chunky this little monkey is. It's crazy to think that just 48 hours ago, this was in Indonesia, and now it's here at the Reptarium. We have an enclosure already picked out. We're setting it up now, and this guy's gonna go in there, and it's gonna be amazing. Again, I love the albino monitors that are here in the country, no doubt about it, but this one is just a little bit more like kind of albino looking, right? Some of the other albinos tan out just a little bit. Not that they're not unbelievably amazing, because they all are. This one's just a little bit more albino in my eyes, I think. So it's a really cool strain to be working with. Will I ever breed them? Probably not, to be totally honest with you. I just wanted a display animal, an animal we could bring out. So now we have Elvis, we have Toothless. Now we have this guy, which by the way, needs a name, a snow blind albino from Evan Sipka in Indonesia. So I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this animal. And I can't wait to hear the name suggestions that you guys have for this monkey. Oh my gosh, this thing is so absolutely gorgeous. Again, four months dreaming about this animal and now it's sitting here in my hand. Oh my, I'm about to faint. I can't believe that we're actually holding this animal. Going back to that first Instagram post that I seen months and months ago and said, wow, that's the albino monitor that I wanna add to the Reptarium. And to think that now I'm sitting here with it in my hand. Unfreaking believable. Dreams do come true, people. It's getting harder and harder to get new animals and figure out where to put them here at the Reptarium because we have uh, just, we're running out of room. We need that expansion so bad. But we moved some animals around. We freed up this enclosure, which I think is going to be great because he can get up right up on that ledge close to the hot spot for basking. Lots of areas to climb. Jessica's going to do just a sprucing up, cleaning up, and kind of add a few things and stuff like that. And then we'll be able to release him and see how he likes his new enclosure. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. I am over the moon excited about this animal. It's going to be a longtime animal ambassador here at the Reptarium. Wait a minute. What was it? Is that chicken strip? Let's see. That's not chicken strip? Well, no, now I'm scared to open it because if that's chicken strip, you guys are definitely setting me up for failure. No, will you stay here in case it runs out? Yeah. yeah. I can catch it. Oh, yeah, look at it. That's a Asian water monitor. Wow. Yeah, it's oh chicken strip. God. So good. What's its name? We haven't named it yet. This I don't think I've ever seen an albino. Albino Asian water monitor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why doesn't my Asian water monitor act like this? And now my favorite part of getting a new animal, letting it go into a new enclosure. And you know, I'm assuming, I don't know how it was being kept, but I'm assuming it wasn't it being kept in like a real naturalistic type of enclosure. And I just think it's gonna absolutely love it. Come on, buddy. Look at how docile it is. And it doesn't even wanna leave my arm. It like would rather be on my arm than in the enclosure. But hey, this is your new home, buddy. Come on. It's got some sharp nails. There's no doubt we're gonna to have to give a little bit of a nail trim. Because these guys aren't really tree climbers, the nail trim isn't bad. So I'm just gonna, again, just gonna, there you go, bud. There you go. It's okay. It's all right. There it goes. And these guys are so intelligent that of course that tongue is going, those long tongue flicks. That's telling me it's thinking, right? Its brain is moving, it's moving, it's moving. And uh, it's just thinking, what is all of this stuff? I'm sure it's, again, smells that it's never smelled, an environment that it's never been in, obviously. And this is gonna be its enclosure for a while, of course. Good now, grow. It's going to get six foot, you know, five and a half, six foot, something like that. But this will be good for probably in the next, you know, six to eight months. And then again, that expansion has got to happen because we got some big animals that need big gauges. But you can see again just the way it's thinking, it's smelling everything. I mean, it's amazing. I love this part of my job is when we get something new and to be able to put an animal into an environment that I know it's going to be so happy and uh, so enriching, right? Because uh, it's just, it's just amazing, right? So. Um, Wow, I tell you what, I'm on cloud nine, guys. This is an animal that I'm gonna be staring at a lot today. There's no doubt, and a lot for the next 10 years or 20 years or whatever it might be, because uh, it's exactly what I've been dreaming for. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments.
All right, guys, you keep sending us cool stuff to the P.O. Box. We appreciate you. Every Christmas, you spoil us. P.O. Box is in the description. Uh, Noah still eating Tim Tams from yesterday. Uh, so uh, let's see. This one says to Lori and Brian. So why don't you open that up, Lori? Hi, guys. These are Christmas ornaments I make that I think you might like. And remember, we wanted your Christmas ornaments for our Christmas tree right behind you, by the way. Oh, that's so good. Very fair right now. So Send your own Christmas ornaments, and we'll put it on the tree in the zoo. Yeah, there you go. And this is Desert awesome. Desert Dragon Works. Desert no Dragon way. Works. I like that. That's my favorite brand. It says pretty thing. Ooh, Ooh there you pretty. go. pretty. Look at this. Wow. Oh, wow. Those you see cool. why I like them so much? Oh, it, that's a spider. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it is a spider. This is dope. This is a scorpion. Look at this. Look at this. Is it? This, yeah. Hey, look at it. It's got its clampers. Oh, yeah. and the... Look at that. These are going to be the first ones that go on our tree. Absolutely amazing. And a scorpion. Love it. Wow. You want to put them on the tree? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, first tree ornament. I'm the very bare Charlie Brown like Reptarium tree. But it'll thank look, you so much. It'll look better shortly. It'll look better shortly. Once I get it plugged in. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. I love that scorpion, it's cool. Thank you so much. Let's open the rest. Last thing is from another Australian from really? South Wales. <gasps> Looks like a, I would say shirt if I'd like to do it. Oh, oh my oh, favorite. What? Get out of here. Socks. <laughs> I like to watch you cut your snake eggs. Thank you so much. That's a name is uh Parsa. Let's see. What, six. Let's see what we have on the back there. So this Oh is, yeah. Oh, this is a uh, echidna. Yeah. An echidna. I never even heard of that. So this is from Joe and Leonard and their nephews, niece and nephews did that. Oh my for you. gosh, that is so cool. Beautiful. So what do we got here shirt wise? This kid's got a future. I know that actually that's a really good drawing. I agree with you. What do we have? Bum bum bum. Oh, it's that's another a, slot oh, thing. Oh, so look at the match. This they is match. Like, oh, yeah, so I can be matching. Ooh. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys again for always making our holidays so amazing. Uh, again, P.O. Box is always in the description. Over on my dad's TikTok, Brian Barchek, we just fed this pineapple to RJ, but we have a whole pineapple left, so let's go feed some animals. Oh, yeah. She's crushing it now. Oh, we got a little friend coming. Wow, look at her get into it. Oh, she's loving it. If we feed animals like this, we usually chop it up or something, but I, you know, I was feeling a little lazy, but it's actually working out pretty well. Like I said, I'm over the moon and happy about this guy. Definitely in the comments, continue those name suggestions. Uh, I love him so much. If you enjoyed this video and you like unboxing type stuff, here's a playlist right over here. Yep, right over here. That's all unboxing reptiles. On this side, can you do me a favor? Hit that subscription button. It would mean the world to me. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.